Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Kenneth here with us this afternoon, and you're from Houston here, right, Kenneth? That's right. And you saw us on YouTube, and you've been needing chiropractic adjustment because you've been getting some lower back pain and uh, pain down in your pelvis and your upper back and mid-back with some costosternal pain occasionally in your sternum here. And also get some headaches occasionally, about once a week, I think you said. Yes. And then also you've got... Uh, elbow pain and ankle pain on both sides from spraining your ankles, right? That's right. Is there anything I missed? No, that's it. And we just did your orthopedic neurological examination on you, right? Yes, sir. Did that seem fairly thorough to you? It did, yes. Good. Have you been to other chiropractors before? Been to one before. Okay. After a car accident, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's take a look at you in the mirror here. So. We've already evaluated him, but I'm just going to show you the highlights of his posture exam. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards for me now, please, Kenneth. And then back to neutral. Now, see, I can tell he's a side sleeper because his head's forward and it's turned a little bit to the right of center. Plus, this hand's behind this one, so he's rotated right most of the time. And he sits on a wallet back here on this right side, too, so that's messing up his pelvic alignment. See how your left shoulder is a little higher than your right one? Your right hand looks longer than your left one. It's not really. It just looks that way. Okay. Your pelvis has shifted left to center. Don't move your arms. See how you have room here? Mm -hmm. You don't have that same room over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, like I said, we've already done his examination, so we're just going to get started adjusting him. Let's go ahead and lay on your tummy for me again here and then again. Left leg is short by half an inch in this position, and it gets longer when I bring it up, and that tightens up in his low back and pelvis. So that confirms my left SI subluxation diagnosis. So I'm going to start off adjusting his left SI joint. And then the right one. And then the sacrum straight down the center, superior to inferior and P to A. And then we're going to get right into his lumbar spine at L5, straight P to A there. L4, straight P to A. L3, L2. Now, he doesn't have a severe problem where his thoracic spine transitions to his lumbar spine, so I'm just going to adjust him here on the biophysics table in that lower thoracic region. There it is, right there. I'm going to do that a couple times to get you. Okay, you're going to feel your head popping up a little bit on this one, Kenneth. Straight PDA in his cervical spine, adjusting along the lines and the angles of the facets in the cervical thoracic spine. Let's turn you on your back here now, please, sir. I'm not just jamming the joints there, I'm actually adjusting them in the same angles as the facets are lined up in. I'm bringing his head negative theta x on the x-axis back to bring his head back up over his thoracic spine, slide down about an inch, and put your arm straight out to the sides for me, please, sir. Perfect. Where's Zondon at? Is that supposed to be London? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your lower back, Ken. Yes. Did you? Sure did. Okay. Same here. Yes, sir. Good job. Okay. Let's have you sit up and face that way for me, please, sir. You said you had some problems with this right elbow, right? Yes. There it is. Well, they heard that when I worked the high. <laughs> Good. There you go. That one's off too. Boy, you're gonna be a crack at his favor. <laughs> okay, now for the big one. Okay, let's 
sleeve down there. Yeah. decibel meter down there mm. and check out see how loud the Palmer diversified rotary brake gets. Mm. Now you've been adjusted before but have you ever been adjusted like this? Okay so let's kind of get up sideways Kenneth slowly and stand here in front of the mirror for me again. Okay so let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again. Look in the mirror already. It's already straighter than it was. Hold these guys up and back. Yours is going to be a little different. I'm going to bring you straight back because you're left. See, we're going to go, or right, we're going to go left. Now look back at the wall behind you. Squeeze your shoulders together. You will feel a little tap there. There. Now relax. Okay. Now, this time when you flex your head forward and backwards, tell me how this feels this time versus the first couple times, kick in. Was that smoother? Yes, sir. Good deal. Take a look in the mirror now. So you're right down in the middle everywhere. Yeah. More equal spacing down your pelvis here too. Do you feel better than when you walked in the door? Um, you're gonna be sore. I think I will be. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you will be. Feel Put some better. crushed ice in a freezer baggie directly on the skin for okay. 20 minutes. If it starts getting sore, which I'm sure it will. Okay. Your neck and low back. Um, do that every hour so you can 20 minutes on hour off 20 minutes on hour off don't ever use heat okay so if you guys are using heat for your neck and back problems stop doing that that's old bad medicine put crushed ice in a freezer baggie directly on the skin right. it changes the microcirculation a lot better and gives you a better analgesic and anti-inflammatory effect okay. and drink a gallon of water every day and keep moving. That's a big mistake that a lot of people make. They go home and they lay around afterwards or they sit around too much. You want to keep moving as much as possible. Movement is the key to rehab. Movement is life and, and immobility is death. Sure. So we want to keep you moving. Okay. So Kenneth you, also complained of bilateral pain in his bottoms of his feet, which is usually indicated of plantar fasciitis, not fasciitis, but plantar fasciitis. That's the inflammation of the covering of the muscle going on the bottom of the soles of the feet muscles, and it's probably most sore about right in there. So I'm going to adjust his feet. There it is, right there. That was your lateral tarsals. Now adjusting your ankle. And just each individual phalange. There we go. There we go. That was your lateral tarsals too. Good. I'm gonna adjust the arch back in your foot. And a lot of people are going out spending a lot of big money on orthotics and things for their feet when you can go to CVS or Walgreens and buy these little $16 Dr. Scholl's inserts for your arches of your feet that work just as well. I'm all about simple and cost effective here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief so that's the advice that I would give to my own family or Jesus Christ himself. Okay, so how was your very first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief compared to what you saw on the YouTube, which is what brought you here. Yeah, it was. Did it meet great. your expectations? Sure did. Yeah. Good. Yeah. How about you, Bianca? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I'm going to have to check her spine, too. She's <laughs> got a spine, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.